What up, I do? Welcome to Premier Lounge video. Today, we're going to talk about King of the Weeds, dandelions. We're going to tell you the benefits behind having these in your garden, what it indicates, and more importantly, how to get rid of it. Let's go. If you have a lot of dandelions in your lawn, it indicates a couple of main things. Generally, that the calcium levels in your lawn are probably lower than what they should be. And dandelions, from the way it grows, it actually adds calcium to your soil. It does that by dandelions have a very big deep tap root that go down into the soil. They do prefer lawns that are heavily compacted and as that root gets pulled down into the soil, it breaks up the soil around it and it brings the calcium up from way down under your lawn and up and it makes it available for other plants. If you're enjoying this video, on dandelions, make sure to smash the like button, subscribe. Now I do a lot of beginner level lawn care. Dandelions are a very important plant to have in your garden, especially first thing in spring, because they're one of the early flowers. If you look at your lawn in spring, that's why you hear a lot about no mow may. Anybody that's wondering what no mow may is, it's a chance not to cut your garden for a whole month but it has a more serious note. You want to let the plants in your garden, like the daisies and the dandelions and the clover, get them all the flower over the month of May, and that's gonna provide food for the bee population. Now there's over 200 different types of bees in the UK. It's really important to do our best to support those. If you want to increase biodiversity in your own garden or lawn, something you could do, what we do on this property, we leave this garden here, we don't use very many herbicides in here. We'd only spray in here every two to three years. And this lets the, the wildlife, the, the weeds, grow at their own pace. And then on our main lawn, we keep it very good. It's a show lawn. But in here, because we have the herbaceous beds and we'll have a vegetable patch with all the strawberries, the blueberries, the blackberries. As previously discussed, the, the dandelions are, are an important part of the biodiversity. Now, I appreciate maybe not everybody has the space to do that. So what I would say is try and leave a small section of your garden and just let it go wild or semi-wild. Or you could even try and grow the likes of dandelion in a pot. Now I'm going to show you a really easy trick that anyone can do to identify any plants grown in your own garden. Okay, so the hack I have for you Anybody can do this. Well, I have an Android phone. I'll be using an Android app. We're going to be using a thing called Google Lens. It's on my phone. You might have to download the Google camera app to be able to do this. If you open the camera app on your phone, the Google camera has a mode called Google Lens. And you can tell it to take a picture of different things. And this is what we're going to use to identify the plants that are in the garden. There's a lot of weeds that grow on your lawn that would indicate that you have low and fertile soil. Clover, crabgrass, daisy, dandelion, plantain, ragwort, cheap sorrel, thistle, yarrow. Some weeds that grow in fertile soil, dandelion, chickweed, chicory, clover, dinging nettle. Another benefit for having dandelions in your garden, the entire plant is edible. Apart from this big, apart from this big long stalk, the rest of the plant is edible. The flowers and the leaves and the roots. A lot of people would make tea out of the roots. Now what I would say is if you're going to forage for for dandelions, always go somewhere where there's no herbicides going on them. If you're going to be eating them, always wash them beforehand because you never know if any animals gone to the toilet recently on them. Okay, I get it. You're watching this video and you're saying, Robbie, I just want to get rid of the weeds in my lawn. How am I going to do it? I'd be honest with you, the best way, selective herbicide, spray it on, job done. Now, I get a lot of comments from people. We did a video similar to this a few weeks ago about how to control clover in your lawn. And a lot of people were saying, we don't want to use, we don't want to use a selective weed killer. And I showed you different ways to control the weeds in your lawn. A lot of you guys were giving me different suggestions in that video. If you have any suggestions for me now, make sure to add them in the video comments. 
a lot of people were talking about they use some table salt. They put a, a spoonful or two of table salt on top of the weeds. Some people mix it up with dishwasher soap. I don't think personally that's good for a lawn. You're going to make the soil toxic and nothing else is going to grow. The weeds aren't going to grow and the grass isn't going to grow. So the tool that you guys recommended to me in the video is this thing here. It's a, it's a weed puller. Never used one before, so we'll have to see how we'll go with that. Whenever you have the dizzy trapped in it, it's dead easy. You just push that forward and out it comes. Okay, I'm gonna give you my final thoughts on this tool. Really, I think it's a really good job. I think it's really, really easy to use. Idiot proof, in fact, if I can use it, anyone can use it. Dead easy to use, works 100%. As discussed, it doesn't pull out the whole root, but if you're gonna be doing your weeds on a weekly basis with this tool, well then, you're not gonna to have too many weeds in your lawn. Easy to use, nice and light, 